grab mine at like 11 something this morning <laughs> the store opened up at 10 and i was like yeah let me get there so i can grab my shoe give me that hand me my shoe please but um <laughs> yeah the shoe was 170 but tax tax was 11.90 so it gave me a, gave came to a total of 181.90 i'm just like Breathe in, breathe out. Like, oh my God, like for a kid's shoe, close to $200, but okay. Yeah, I got me this year, Jordan brand. Got me this time. Hello everyone, welcome back to Life with Aisha. Today we're doing a quick shoe review, but before we get into that, I just want to say happy December to everyone, to all of my subbies out there. And, um, which I have coined you on my A squad. So happy December to my A squad. The holidays are upon us. My favorite holiday. I love Christmas. Well, I, it's kind of a tie between Thanksgiving and Christmas, but I just love how Christmas just overall makes people more happy overall. So I have my little Home Alone tea on, as you can see. Look, <laughs> it's Home Alone here. It's a long t-shirt. Well, it's not that long, but. I look shorter sitting down <laughs> but um yeah this is like my top probably like top three maybe top five but i'm thinking like top three favorite christmas movies so a little fun fact let's just jump right into this review so today i officially secured the bag i grabbed mine from jim jazz and um before we get into that let's pull out this long receipt here which the price, yeah, we're gonna get into all that. But they retail for $170. Um, I got a grade school size, I am a kid size shoe. And the shoe that we are talking about today are the Air Jordan 11 Retro Concord 11s. That's what we have here. First off, getting into this box here, um, it has like an OG feel to it, I would say, um, with the exception of like the materials used for the box is more of like a matte black and a matte, um, I would say this is like a kind of a dark gray box, but, um, you know, the OG boxes had the, well, I think the first ones, well, I don't know about the first ones, but the first ones that I started grabbing, Jordan's, I started getting, had like the Jordan face on it, then it went to like, the black top the metallic gray bottom but it was like a pattern type of box and then it went to just a plain black box if i'm not mistaken then the black and gold box and now we're at this box here so this is my first box like this this year because i've taken like three four l's in the past month i would say um the rookie of the year ones i didn't end up getting those well yet fingers crossed i come across those um what else what else what else and like some off-white stuff that I miss. Oh, those junior ones, they really suck. So if you feel what I'm saying, comment down below. But we're going to get right into these. These are the Holy Grail shoe that everyone holds at their top of their list. And they are the Concord 11. So I'm going to start out by taking out the left shoe here. It's pretty much the exact same thing for both shoes. So you don't need to take out both. Okay, and this is what you have. You have the, it's white and black, so black pan leather here. You got the Jumpman here. A lot of people are a little skeptical about this Jumpman. Um, it's been a lot of talk about that from what I've seen. It's not terrible to me. Like, I, I don't have an issue with it really at all. You have the coveted 45 on the back. A lot of people were hype about that. I'm not one of those people that I'm too pressed about having everything look it's like the original but the 45 i like the concept of it and the meaning behind it because you know that's the number that jordan switched to but you could have gave me the 23 and i would have been fine with it the one thing that i am mostly excited about are the, sh the shoelaces and if, as you can see they're like the big kind of like rope type of laces and in the 2011 pair which i had that pair as well we did not get these shoelaces we got something totally different um i actually wish i had them here so i could do like a comparison but unfortunately they're in storage with a lot of my 
other cops from the year 2011 through 2014. So it is a lot of things that I have that I do not have in arm's reach right now. But, um, yep, it's basically, I mean, you've seen one of Rudy's, you've seen them all. But you have the icy bottom here. You have like that Concord purple there, which I love. I love the bottom of this shoe. I love the bottom of 11, 11s overall. Right here, um, the carbon fiber area, it is more, um, I would say, closely to the men's version. Because, you know, they give us grade school and little feet gang people. Just pretty much anything. But I remember my 2011 pair, they did feel more plastic-like feeling. So, this does feel more, has more texture to it. Um, I know for a fact that my 2011 pair, when I do get them out of storage, I will come back and show you all those in like a separate video. Probably I'm not doing a comparison unless I was going to be able to get it out this week. Not just out of the question, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the soles on my 11 ones have yellowed a lot. I will insert some pics probably here or there somewhere, but I wore those shoes out. I absolutely love this shoe. 2011 pair came out December 2011. I remember I first wore those to the um my high school i don't know if other high schools do this but they do like a holiday like um basketball tournament so i wore those there because this was like i got them this was during the christmas break of my freshman year of college and i um <laughs> i originally bought them because my birthday's in january so i bought them because i'm like i'm wearing those on my birthday but i was like you know what I'm going to get them a little taste of the action. So I wore them to the Christmas game. And I think me and like maybe one or two other people had them on. But, you know, like, and then I was late for the game because I'm always late for everything. And I was walking to like the bleacher section that was like in the middle. So we had like a bleacher section on either side. Then we had one right here in the middle. So I was walking right there. That's where my best friend was and like my classmates and stuff. So when I walked in, everybody was like, she got the, she got the eleven zone. <laughs> so it was like a whole big deal or whatever but yeah i think me and I think like one other girl and another guy had them on at that game and then of course when i went back to school i wore them on my birthday which my birthday is early january so yeah i was killing the yard as they call it <laughs> but that's just a little trip down memory lane um i absolutely love this shoe i wouldn't say that i'm as excited about getting the shoe this year in 2018 as i was in 2011 but i had to pick them up for nostalgia purposes because i mean you have to have this in your collection i personally feel like anybody that is in this sneaker game and sneaker culture has to have the concord 11 in their possession um, I could have doubled up actually. Um, they were very easy. I won a couple raffles on these. I only picked up one raffle because I just don't need the, all these shoes hanging around. I felt the same way about my Space Jam 11s, which came out, what, 2016, I believe. And I entered so many raffles for those. I won probably like, probably close to... I know I won over five raffles. I'll say that maybe not 10, but over five because I just didn't know how things were going to go with the release. And yep, I won every one of them. And I have yet to wear this shoe after I went through all of that work to get the shoe. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to save myself the trouble. I'm going to only enter a couple this time. My brother entered some raffles. He didn't win a raffle. So he put me to, me to work. I know you're watching this video, so yes, I'm going to talk about you. He put me to work to get his shoe. So I'm up on sneakers. I'm like, the sneakers app never works for me. So what are the chances of me just for working today? But I was like, you know what? I'll try it out. But simultaneously, I have the sneaker. I have the shoe in my cart on the sneakers app. And it says, you know, pending. So you got to wait for the whole pending process. Me being me, I'm antsy. I can't wait. I'm like, you know what? My brother has helped me get a lot of shoes that's in my collection. So, you know what? I'm going to go the extra mile and he's going to get this shoe. So, I'm on every other website. Like, I went on Twitter. I have all the Twitter um, links coming to my phone. So, I'm on Kicks USA, um, Chic. What else? Finish Line. I don't know. Was I on Foot Locker? Um, East Bay. Um what else dclr villa it was like 10 web pages open and 
I was trying to get them in the car on every page because I'm like, we're going to get this shoe. So the first one I got it in like to the car and to the checkout process was East Bay. And I didn't really want to buy them off there because they do charge tax and shipping, which is just so extra to me, especially for a new release. Like you should get free shipping. But um, so I ended up getting them on there. I got them in the car, checked out with their process or whatever. And yeah, so we came, I came through and he had got a size 12 and those. So check, got his pair. And then I'm like, oh crap, his other pair is still pending on sneakers. Meanwhile, my cousin texted me and was like, hey, I got him a pair. I'm like, oh, me too. <laughs> so he got two pairs now. And then I get the confirmation from sneakers. Like, okay, so yeah, we just got extra concords laying around. So if you know anybody that needs a men's size 12, Hit me up, comment down below, hit me on my social media, which is in my description box and it'll also be right here. So, because we don't need all these concords, so yeah. But I am happy that I did get my pair. I will say that I am just impressed with the quality of it overall. I have watched a couple other people's reviews for this shoe, um, some of the early pairs. And I will say that I like that they tried to make the shoe look as closely to the OG as possible. And I do love, this is overall, I overall love that they made the grade school shoe not too much different from the men's shoe. Because normally we get crap, we get crappy leather or crappy just it's always like a different flaws here and there but this time it came through for for us and i am excited about it so as you can see because i just got this shoe like a couple hours ago and i'm already trying to get this review out before the day ends but yep i hope that you all enjoyed this video i will have some other upcoming because i've been grabbing quite a few shoes um the past couple months so i'm gonna have like a collaborative haul of everything that i've been getting probably more than likely before the month ends and if i don't see you all before i hope everyone has a happy holiday and has a great christmas even though i should have a video back out <laughs> before christmas disclaimer but yeah so i hope that you all enjoyed this video and as always remember to like comment subscribe if you're here and you've gotten to this point and you're not subscribed what are you doing here but yeah, make sure you subscribe and share and, you know, comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Turn on your notification bells. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.